Hello, welcome to Wipe Dreads Floss Tube number 57. Thank you for joining me again today. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would absolutely love it if you did. And if you're finding these videos helpful, I would love it if you would share them with your stitchy friends on maybe Facebook or other social media um, and maybe in your sewing groups as well. Thank you, that'd be great. Today I thought that I would show you one of the projects from my book Smoig, Pattern Darning from Norway. Um, this is a book about pattern darning, obviously, because I just said that was in the title. Pattern darning might sound quite complicated, but it's not. It's running stitch. It's counted running stitch, so you have to count the thread that you go over and under. But all it is, is this. Up and down and up and down. So you do one line, you go up and down, then you come back and you do the next line, and you zigzag backwards and forwards. And by doing so, you create a design. It is not a difficult technique. Unlike so many of the other things that I teach, Smoig isn't hard. So if you've been wondering about a good place to begin for counted embroidery with one of my books, Smoig's a great choice. So the one that I'm going to show you today, the project, is the little scissors keep that I have. This was designed basically because I felt that I needed a scissors keep that I could store my needles in. Because uh, when I'm doing smoig, I often need to have a tapestry needle and a chenille needle so one with a blunt point which is the tapestry and one with the chenille the, sorry the chenille needle which has a sharp point i often need both of them and i'm always carrying my scissors around with me so i thought well if i make the scissor fob into a little needle case like a tiny little one then i can have my needles with me all the time and as you can see here i've also got some um, pins in there as well because it's always helpful there's only one actually normally there's more it's always helpful to have some pins with you as well for counting things and things like that so this was designed with that in mind and it uses the the striped uh, technique of smoik which means that you have the pattern done in various stripes of various colors so often the stripes are different thicknesses um, and jumbled up colors whereas this one is not different thicknesses and it's not jumbled up colors but you can see on the front and the back there are two repeated designs and they're quite simple they're also quite small so it means that it's a really great project for beginners um, because there's not that much to do you can try it out and if you don't like the technique well you never have to do any more again but of course you will like it um, and then you can do more um, so this is the scissor keep project in the book now in the book are all the instructions it tells you all the things that you need to make it but I also have the the supplies for this available supplies pack it doesn't come with the instructions because you need the book for that it's more the fact that I needed to be able to provide you with all of the things to make the projects as easily as possible so that once you've got the book you can go through and you can choose and you say oh, I would like to do that one that one and that one and I can say I can send you this and this and this and it just makes it easier for you so some people when they're buying the kits well sorry it's not a kit that's exactly the point it's not a kit when they're buying the supplies pack they feel a little bit miffed that it doesn't come with the instructions but that's not the point of the supplies packs the supplies packs are to help you make what's in the book they're not kits and that's a really important point so this is worked on 40 count linen so it's quite fine but you're not doing tricky things with that linen um, and it has the needles in it it's got the wools which are very fine wool um, there is fine debussin wool which is a product from France from Auversois and there are also mora wools which are so the the 
that's the find a bruising one the little the apricotty pink color and then the green and the blue are mora wools which are a swedish weaving wool actually and they normally come in really big hanks and you don't want a really big hank to make that out of so that's why i supply smaller amounts in the supplies packs that i have it also comes with the doctor's flannel for the inside it comes with with a little piece of elastic and the what's that called there's a button obviously and then enough of the thread to make the tassel and the cord as well so it's got everything in there in there that you will need um, you may also want to buy a hoop or if you don't already have one um, to use so to put the hoop on so that you can work in and out and in and out without pulling your your um, running stitches too tight and thereby having the fabric puckering so i often well i i always work my smoke in a hoop um, rather than doing this i go like that and i find that that gives me a better result for my stitching uh, so that is the Smoig Scissor Keep, which is a project from my book Smoig Pattern Darning from Norway. Um, and it is available as a supplies kit for which you will also need a copy of the book. If you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to ask. And I look forward to seeing some photos of completed pieces. I always love it when people send me photographs of the projects of mine that they have worked. It makes me feel like people are enjoying my things. And maybe they're not. Hmm. Well, at least they've completed them. And that's the important thing. So I'd love to see any photographs that you have of the completed projects of mine. It always makes me so happy. Thank you very much for joining me again today and I will see you next time. Bye.